The Spill is brought to you by Lanza, Walker Valley's best partner. Now will everyone stand for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now will everyone bow their heads for a moment of silence. Walker Valley. It's Monday, April 18, 2016. I'm your host, Jolie. And I'm Jonathan's. Here's today's announcements. Congratulations to the following students for placing in the Tennessee Mathematics Teachers Association Annual Mathematics Competition held on April 12, 2016 at Tennessee Wesleyan University. Algebra was Kylie Squirrels. Second place was Gracie Medley. Third place... Algebra 2 was Wesley Studd in first place, Marin Baker third place, and Statistics was Olivia Snyder second place, and Bryson Bradley third place. Pre-Calculus was Lauren Beavers first place, and Calculus Kendall Mailing placed first, Luke McDonald placed second, and Sam Wilson placed third. Students, if you're going to prom and you're planning to bring a date that does not attend Walker Valley, you must pick up a form in the main office. This form must be completed and signed off on before you can purchase your prom tickets. NSHS applications for seniors only are now available in, for any upperclassman science teacher. Applications for underclassmen will be available before the end of the school year. Art club members stop by FA 109, Ms. Russell's room, to sign up for after school art activities. Spaces are limited, so sign up soon. We will meet Thursday, April 21st, Thursday, April 28th, and Tuesday, May 3rd. Now it's time for your question of the day. My least favorite part about school is uh, if you miss a class, the next day you get to miss more class because you missed that class. Waking up early for school, seeing all the people, couples, the bathroom, getting here in the morning, the food, the lunch line, the grades, the tests, getting here in the morning, couples again, probably the bathrooms again. Say, seeing pollution every single day, being in the same school as these bros. I'd say my least favorite thing about school is math. School. The change. My least favorite thing about this school is when Dejour doesn't put me on the spill like he says he's gonna. <laughs> okay. Having to wake up in the morning, having to drive here, having to walk into this school. When I walk into this school, it's like something comes over me and I just feel mis miserable. Weird people. People who wear cattails. <laughs> <laughs> this whole place. The school, Mr. Akiona, uh, more school, the, the everything, him, 
um, um, Riley, um, you, Nick, and that I can't wear holes in my jeans because I'm a female. School, people, the homework, and waking up early. Uh, the school food sucks pretty bad. No salt, no good. <laughs> the lunches, we got some jailhouse food, bro. The nosy teachers. Elections for Student Government Association will be held on April 27th. If you're interested in running for SGA, there will be an informational meeting in G208 on April 12th during CCRT. Please see Ms. Ball with any questions. Seniors, if you did not pick up your senior folder for your, your map class, please check in with the guidance department. We have had several that have not been picked up yet. Attention all MBA students. The 2015-2016 MBA shirt can now be ordered. Sizes extra small to extra large are available. $10 for the regular shirts and larger sizes will be $12. Please order and pay into B205. This year's prom theme is Seaside Social. It will be held Saturday, April 30th at the Chattanooga Convention Center. Hours of prom are 7.30 to 11.30 p.m. Tickets are $40 and will go on sale the week of prom. Any student who has 10 or more unexcused absences may not attend prom. If you have any questions about your attendance, please see Ms. Kretnan. Seniors, if you haven't ordered your cap or gown yet, there are new order forms in the main office. Please do this as soon as possible. See Ms. Fox or Ms. Wood with any questions. Now it's time for your weekly gaming corner. Hello, and welcome to today's gaming corner. I'm your host, Hunter, and today I'll be showing you Tales of Symphonia, Dawn of the New World. This game is set two years after the events of the award-winning Tales of Symphonia for the Nintendo GameCube. Following the journey of two new young heroes, Emil Castagmir and Marta Lualdi, as they seek to uncover the mystery of why their world has fallen into ruin. In their quest, their paths will cross with the original cast of Tales of Symphonia including Lloyd and Colette, as well as a summoned spirit known as Ratatosk who claims to be the lord of all monsters. Advancing the combination of story, characters and real-time battles that made Tales of Symphonia one of the best-selling and highest-rated role-playing games for the Nintendo GameCube. Dawn of the New World introduces a new monster recruitment feature in which players can capture more than 200 unique enemies and train them to actively participate in battle. Players can then feed these monsters to make them more effective, and even evolve them into several new fearsome forms. The game also features an updated real-time battle system that lets players move freely in all directions around the battlefield, execute powerful units and attacks and take advantage of a new elemental alignment system for even more strategic depth. Dawn of the New World gives players complete control over a full roster of Tales of Symphonia characters and ally monsters, letting them customize their adventure party into hundreds of unique combinations. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Until next time, I'm Hunter, and this has been your weekly installment of Gaming Corner. Now it's time for an awesome commercial break and then a coop noob with your Walker Valley Sports. Word of the day, envencular, of, relating to, or characteristic of an uncle.
Walker Valley Sports. Sponsored by Mix 1041, your home for Walker Valley Sports. Hey Walker Valley, I'm Cooper here with your Walker Valley Sports. Let's take a look at this week's Spill Center. What's up everybody? Welcome to this week's Spill Center. I'm Will Sutton. I'm joined by Austin Norman, Steve Nash, and Cooper Melton. Um, congratulations to the Warriors for breaking the 95-96 Bulls regular season wins record. They were, went 73-9. and uh, their, One of their only losses came to the Lakers. Last night, Kobe played his last game of a 20-year career with the Lakers, one of the greatest players of all time. So we're just going to talk about his legacy. and uh, what's, what's your favorite moment of Kobe Bryant's career? I think mine, I love all the high-flying dunks, all the really – the, the highlights he had, but I think my favorite moment was last night in his final game, dropping 60 points, mm -hmm. just because it meant the most. And I've been somebody that didn't really like Kobe his whole career, so to see him go out on a good note was good because I know I don't have to put up with him anymore. So last night was my favorite moment. Yeah, it's just so hard to choose from because Kobe's a human high highlight reel. He did it every every game, you know, and throughout his whole career. But one of my favorite moments ever is whenever he came back from the shoulder injury and the reconstructive knee surgery and came back the next year, won the MVP and the finals. Like, that was one of the greatest feats to me, just a greatest comeback story. And uh, he'll always be one of the best scorers of all time, one of the greatest players of all time, and uh, you know, he'll forever be respected in the game. So. Yeah. Um, my, moment, my favorite moment is going to come from uh, what Kobe's kind of known for, is just his being able to take over a game. Which is why some people hate him because you know say he doesn't pass. <laughs> frustrating, and, yeah. yeah. And it's frustrating when he tries and doesn't take over a game. But my favorite moment it's ten years ago against the Jazz when he scored thirty points in a quarter because <laughs> I think that just like shows what he's about. <laughs> it's just getting hot and mm -hmm. not missing. Yeah. And so that, that's my favorite moment was just watching him in that game just take take over the game and change the course of it. So that's my favorite moment. Um, you know. The 81-point game, everybody knows about it, so I'm not going to go with that. I'm actually going to go when uh, he beat the Celtics, even though I'm a huge Celtics fan. But um, it was my favorite moment of his because everybody was saying, you know, he's not going to win a ring without Shaq. And to get over that hump, I think, was huge for him and his uh, career and for people to actually see him as uh, the player he really is. Yeah. Now, uh, to wrap it up, where would you rank Kobe? Like, where, where would you actually rank him all time? As a player, I'm going to say he's top 10, but I don't know if I can say he's top five. So I'm going to say, like, I'd say he's probably like the eighth best player ever. I'm going to say the ESPN rankings that they released a few weeks ago got it right when he was, they put him at number 12. I mean, he had, he's had a great career. He's put up tons of points, and, like, you can't argue that he's a great scorer. But I think it's the, it's the other parts of the game in which that he didn't succeed in, which yeah. puts him lower on that totem pole than some of the other guys, even though he was great in every aspect. Those guys were maybe just a little bit better in some other areas, but he is one of the greatest scorers. So I'll put him at 12. Uh, he, he's top five to me. Um, Laker fan. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no bias. He, he had nine first-team all-defensive selections, which is tied for the most all-time. So I think that gets overlooked is his work on, on defense. Uh, he's third all-time scoring list. Got five championships. So to me, the legacy that he leaves behind and the ability that he had puts him top five. Probably four. I'm going to say top three, and um, I'm not going to get into a ton of it, but I think the other two in that top three are actually, um, of course, Jordan's one of them, and then an underrated player, in my opinion, uh, Oscar Robertson. But um, I'm going to go with, um, yeah, Kobe's in the top three to me, like just going back to what Jake said and all he's done. And, um, you know, if you got the ball in the last 30 seconds of a game, whether it be the finals or last night, you're always going to win it in his hands. So I'm going to I'm going to go Kobe to top three. Uh, congratulations, Kobe, on a great career. Congratulations, Golden State, on breaking the record. And that's all for this week's Spill Center. Thanks. Mamba out. <laughs> Shout out to the Mamba for putting up six in his last game last night. The freshman baseball team has a game today at McCauley. Softball will travel to East Ridge, game starting at five. 
The baseball team will play Udawa at home today, JV at 4, Varsity at 7. The boys soccer team looks to stay perfect in district play Tuesday at home against Saudi Daisy starting at 6. The tennis team has a match Tuesday versus Saudi Daisy at the Cleveland Country Club starting at 4. The track team will travel to Red Bank Tuesday for their meeting starting at for their meet start starting at 4. Sopa has a huge home game huge home district game versus Udawa Tuesday starting at 5. The baseball team will travel to Udawa Tuesday, JV at 4 and varsity at 7. Dance team packets are now available to be picked up outside MCLA 3 from Miss Brady or in the main office. They will be due back by Wednesday, April 27th at the mandatory meeting at 345 in the auditorium. Well, that's all for your Walker Valley Sports today. Tune in tomorrow for more updates on your Mustangs. I'm Cooper, and out to Abby with your weather and your five-day forecast. Walker Valley Weather. Sponsored by Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Coverage you can count on. What's up, Walker Valley? I'm Abby back with the Walker Valley Weather. It's currently 60 degrees outside. The high today is 69 with a low of 50. Now let's check out your radar. As you can see, we have rain in our area, but there's a low chance of any storms this evening. Let's check out your five-day forecast. For the rest of the week, we will have highs in the 70s and lows in the 40s and 50s. This weekend will be warm and sunny with 0% of rain until the, next, until the middle of next week. Well, that's all for your weather today. For more information, go to WRCBTV.com. I'm your weather girl, Abby. Everyone have an amazing day. Now back to your host. You can follow us on Twitter or Instagram at The Spill TV. Like us on Facebook or check out the all-new features available on The Spill app, available for iPhone and Android devices. That's all for your show today. For a complete recap of The Spill, check out our new YouTube channel. I'm Jolie. I'm Jonathan. We'll miss you, Kobe. Everybody have a great day. Ladies and gentlemen, stand up, bow down, salute to the diners, salute to the diners.